screen group head. So basically what do you need to have? You just need to have the screwdriver whereby you are going to just open this nail that holds the screen. Like you see, it's already loose. Sometimes if you find it loose like this, you better hold it tight by getting this and tighten it up. So today we are going to see how you can easily clean this screen head. Right, I think I'll need to first uh, disconnect the Bluetooth. Let me see. Okay. All right, so there we go. Uh, this is the group head one, two, three. So I've already cleaned the third one. I'm going to just clean these two, but I'm going to show you how you can easily do it, how you can easily clean them. So I'll first open up this nail. This nail allows or accesses the water through which it, it has a hole where the water passes through to enter the screen screen head. Eh? All right, so just um, opening it up here. Sometimes you're going to find that water is dispersing within your coffee, so you just have to check here. If it's loose like this, then you just need to tighten it up. So here we go. So hold it, and uh, most of the times you're going to find that there is water, hot water. So if it has hot water, you have to just be careful. Put on gloves or just put on anything so that the water doesn't burn you. So let's have a look at this. This screen is really, really dirty, like you see, so it needs to be washed. So I'll just place it in my water, cleaning water, and this is the nail like we see. It has this hole. This hole, basically, this is where the water passes. Like you see, it passes through this hose, the three holes then it pushes the water right down it passes through this hole then these three holes push the water direct down into the screen like you're going to see so i'll place it in the water then i'll open our second group head so you just have to be careful okay it has opened and if I can be once it loses up it loosens i'll just clean clinch my hand into it then open it so like you see this is also really that it's also it's uh just brown so we need to scrub it off and put it back to its normal color so let me show you something if you look at this green uh, group head just by writing without using a pen but my finger it's already showing you that these are oils all over the what these are oils all over the uh the group head when once we remove the screen most of us are used to just back flashing but there's that moment where you need to do this and you need to open and at least clean like you see so i can't risk uh, removing the gloves because my my hands will get burned so what we're going to do i am going to first clean this uh these group heads then after I'll wash my what? I'll wash my screen heads like you see. Uh, this is the water where I'm going to wash them from. And I think that that's basically it. So let me get a washer and clean it. Uh, rough. Not with the washer. Washer, washer. The yellow one. What? I sponge. Let me a new one. Thank you. So as they get me a sponge, let me get my chemical that I'm going to use. This water already has detergent. Hello, Hello. thank you. Okay. So I'm going to simply add in a little of this detergent that uh, that is acceptable to wash your group head. So I'll just get small, place it into the water so that we can easily do it. We can easily have, uh, so that we can easily have clean water so what i'll do I'll just get my brush here sometimes it's necessary either to use the brush and clean it or if you see that the brush is not cleaning it well get a soft sponge don't get something hard place it in the water and at least wash out those oils like you see it's already clean now ah like you see it's coming back to its normal color and this black that you see on the sponge that is basically oils that you see on that sponge so we have to make sure that we do this at least once a month however much you back flush you need to open up the screens and wash inside the what the group head so uh, don't use too much uh, chemical it's not advisable because sometimes you're going to fail out to wash it out so after cleaning our group heads these group heads i'm going to still back flush to remove out this foam that you see so that it doesn't get seasoned with our coffee so after washing this what is next i'll go ahead to wash the second one but before i wash the second one we have to hurry and get at least a clean cloth a clean tidy neat cloth whereby i'm going to soak it in water i have already water clean water here 
and at least wash to remove the what to remove the uh, the foam okay so at least I'll wash it like we see yeah some people are going to say the lighting but basically the lighting is like that I really can't adjust it slightly so like you see I am cleaning it I am cleaning the whole group head if you're not doing this exercise please you better start as a professional barrister because you are supposed to do what to do that then at least see if the water is still coming out properly like you see this is the water then here we go so what is the next step I am going to go to the second one after that I am going to clean the screens tie, uh, tighten them up inside again then back flush it at least with a blind or a chemicalless blind filter so I'll get, I'll get to this clean inside wash it properly because sometimes if you don't do this you're going to find out that your group head is going to at least uh, get blockages you're going to find out that your group head it needs backflashing or it needs to open the screen and at least wash inside look at this it's already black so all these are oils that we need to clean out I think these are monthly oils every after one month every after 30 days I make sure that I remove my screens and at least pass on this activity to every every machine that I'm working with all right so like you see I'm scrubbing out all the old oils and I think it's also advisable when you change your coffee when you get a new coffee you need to also take on this practice as a professional barista <laughs> I'll have to put that so if you see this my yellow new sponge is turning black so all those are old oils that everyone is supposed to use like I'm advising you if you not if you if you uh, if you can't really use that detergent at least get some uh, how should I say little little detergent to place in your water because this is too much detergent use little detergent so that you can easily wash it out so I'll get my cloth don't remove the tray because the tray helps us at least take off the water like you see the water is falling into this tray then we go ahead to clean it okay here we go but a word of advice remember these machines are different you are going to find that there is a machine that doesn't have this button uh, that doesn't have that can't be opened by a school driver so what are you going to do you have at least to call your technician just in case you can't do that it's just a piece of advice because not everyone is advised to do that unless you have the required experience to wash or to clean your machine technically yeah most of us the barristers all we know is to grind coffee but technically hygienically cleaning our machines we don't know so I think there we go I'll get uh, the water out at least dry clean them and we pass on the hydrogen not some habit <laughs> okay so uh, I've removed the water now I have to clean thoroughly our group heads like you see just in case you have any question kindly leave it in the comment section below as we continue all right here we go okay I think we're done with that without wasting any time our group heads are really really clean let's just have a look okay that's our group head it's clean it's back to its normality like you see it's really thoroughly clean all the oils are out so what's the next step the next step according to what we are going to do we am going to start washing our screen so I've decided to do this because I don't have a cameraman to walk me through so I use this some sponge at least to wash out all the oils from the screen this is the screen sometimes you don't need to use something hard on it okay I've, I think uh, in different videos I've showed you how you can easily clean your machine by back flashing but this was really missing out uh, this kind of video is missing out so I think the screen is clean I'll throw it in the clean water then still I'll get the second screen wash it off the oils and uh, let's go Mohammed you want to clean here just one minute then Kalas I go okay sorry 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 my people are missing me <laughs> so I had to record this video all right so I think we're done with washing this I don't know whether I can clearly see this after I throw it in the clean water and now the most crucial part is cleaning these nails sometimes I like using this brush so that it enters the holes I can use one uh, one lid of the brush fix it inside the hole of this uh, screw let me call it a screw but it's the valve that allows water to enter into the screen head 
which distributes water into your coffee pack or into the into extracting the espresso so this is very very vital the water i think i'll show that to you when we i'm done with cleaning it because right now it has too much for me minute where is the second one where is the second one like you see it's three group heads i already cleaned the third one so just for the education purposes i decided to also share this with you my family i think we are done cleaning it so i'll throw it in clean water and i'm going to take off these gloves since they have foam dispose them off and i'll bring here my clean water i'll first clean off the service because i'm going to place the screens there again so I'll check one by one screen like you see this is our screen now it's already clean it's not it doesn't have the oils like we had before okay that's really beautiful then this is the other screen like you see it also doesn't have oils now don't forget in your entire life to have these valves or these nails like you see they have different holes this is the first hole once you fix it in this hole water comes from this uh trench like you see so when water comes from this trench it pours the water into this hole and this hole has uh, uh, this valve okay let me say this valve has also outlets like you see on the downer side that distributes the water into this screen after distributing the water into the screen then this screen pours into your coffee pack all right let's go i'm done with washing them so i'll just pour a little bit hot water to thoroughly clean them Okay, that's great and this all right that's great so we are going to place them back into our group head so like you see this video basically teaches you how you can easily clean your screen heads all right so here we come it's very hot so you just have to be careful with all that you're doing make sure when you're tying it back all your screws have to be clean and very very careful so all right i can easily first place the screen back then get hold of the nail or the valve place it back and get my screw all right so i think it's a nice touch so sometimes you're going to find that this screen is shaking and the water is not evenly distributing into your into your coffee pack the espresso is going to be testing like wow very bad so you just come get your screw and tighten it up like you're going to see or like you're seeing all right there we go okay i think it's already tight so let's give it a check and see if the water is coming wow that's lovely so if the water evenly distributes that basically means your group head is perfectly okay so we shall get to the second one all right and tighten it up also I'll first use my hands because this one is not very hot okay once it loops in then I'll get my screwdriver and tighten it up and every after se any session please make it a point to at least back flush once with a blind potter filter don't put any chemical because we are done with cleaning so let's give it a check all right there we go we are done with that so this is the blind potter filter just get your blind potter filter this is the blind potter filter without any holes in the basket then we are going to do it we are going to back flush so we start the back flushing oh okay it has started back flushing so back flushing some people have been asking me where does the water go let's give it a check here so when i open this trench okay, uh, just a minute when i open this trench like you see here okay the water comes back to these valves through these valves like you see so whenever it's back flushing like you see here it's showing you it's cleaning cln means cleaning the water passes through that those valves and it sends off the dirt from 
and it distributes the dirt to the what? To the main trench that takes the water to the sewage pipe. So I think that is it for today's video. So like you've seen, basically, this is a short video to basically show you how you can easily clean your what? You can easily clean your group heads. Just in case you have any other questions, please feel free to ask me any other question. I'm sorry about the camera movements because I don't have any cameraman to help me out. So I think uh, that's it for today's video. See you in another one. Remember, when you're opening, if you can't open it, please call the technician but it's a must to clean your screen or sometimes once the screen is old you can easily open it know the kind of machine you are using order for the new screen and uh place it or exchange it with a new one and remove the old one because it affects the shot of espresso every time you are trying to extract all right even this we are going to clean so i'll press the barista button on the single shot press them at once it's cleaning already so there you go you're going to see this buttons clicking clicking and clicking so that's it my family hope everyone is fine i know most of you have been missing me and most of you have been asking me where i am so i just came back from a short holiday and we are going to be witnessing a lot of nice educative videos about coffee or about anything that comes my way once it falls under the line of coffee all right see you in another one good morning Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching from and good night. Just in case you are new to this channel, make it a point to subscribe. Click on the like button and feel free to share because many more videos are on the way. See you. I love you.